So, so far we have uh, shown an example of um, adding two polynomials, adding two rational functions, and now we're going to perform addition on two um, radical uh, functions. So that's what I wanted to show you in this one. In this one, we're going to again find the sum of f plus g of x. And so we take f of x plus g of x, just like we've done previously. f of x is represented by x plus 6 plus g of x, which is represented by x minus 3. Now, we can't do anything else, and that's why I wanted to show you this problem. There's no, uh, there are, these are not like terms. I cannot combine these two uh, radicals because you want to remember that a square root symbol or this radical symbol is actually acting as, let's call it a grouping or parentheses. And remember that in our order of operations, we have to perform the parentheses before we could ever do addition. So this is just what you stop with. So that's my function. Now let's determine what the domain is, because the domain is not quite as easy. So separately, remember that the domain of my new function here is the intersection of these two domains. So we're going to start with the domain of f. The domain of f is x plus 6 equals to 0, or uh, not equals, greater than or equal to 0, so x must be greater than or equal to negative 6. Then we have the domain of g, which is x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0, so x must be greater than or equal to positive 3. Now, if I were to draw these out using number lines, so the domain of f would look like a number line where x is greater than negative 6. So I have negative 6 here, and x is going to be greater than that value. <clears throat> what about the domain of g? g is, again with my number line, g is x is greater than or equal to 3. Well, 3 is about here. We'll call it here. It's about the, here on our number line. I know it's on the right side of, ne of negative 6, don't I? And we would shade to the right of that. So the domain of f plus g is where these two number lines intersect and that is going to be anything to the right of 3. So that's where they not intersect. It is called intersection but I would probably look at it more as uh, where do they overlap? At what point are they starting to overlap? And they are overlapping you can see here from 3 to infinity. Okay so that's how we would find the sum of these two functions which are radicals. I know in the other videos we found the quotient which was division using um, of our two functions but I want to switch gears this time and I actually want to find the product so I want to say f times g of x and these are my functions I'm using over here. So um, I have um, the square root of x plus 6 times the square root of x minus 3. Now let's see how we handle that. When we were adding, we couldn't do anything with the two radicals. We couldn't make it any simpler. But when we multiply, we actually can. So I can rewrite this as x plus 6 times x minus 3 because when I, um, my properties of radicals allow me to write these factors underneath the same radical sign because they're both square roots. So in order for me to do this, they both have to be square roots or cubed roots or whatever, but this index, which is out here in front telling me if I'm taking the square root or the cubed root or the fourth root, has to be the same for both of them in order for me to write them under a single sign. So now what do we do? Well, we're just going to expand this or foil it, and we end up with x squared um, plus 3x minus 18 when I foil those, 
those three things together. And this would be the product of my functions uh, f and g.